This is lesson 6.1, Angles of Polygons. Your objectives are to find and use the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a polygon and find and use the sum of the measures of the exterior angles of a polygon. For a polygon, the sum of the interior angles uses the formula S equals 180 times N minus 2. S is the sum of the interior angles, and N is the number of sides. And that gives you the sum of all of them. For one interior angle, if it's a regular polygon, you still do 180 times N minus 2, and then divide by N, which divides by the number of sides, to get you 1. So make sure you're paying attention to whether you need the sum of all of them, or just one of them. Find the sum of the measures of the interior angles of each convex polygon. Number one is a decagon. Since we're looking for the sum of all of the interior angles, we'll use the formula S equals 180 times N minus 2. For a decagon, N is 10. So 180 times 10 minus 2 is 1,440. To substitute the number of sides for n. Number 2, a 16 gong. Well, s equals 180 times n minus 2. For a 16 gong, n is 16. When you work that out, you get 2,520. That's the sum of the interior angles of a 16 gone. The measure of an interior angle of a regular polygon is given. Find the number of sides in the polygon. Number 7, 150 degrees. So one interior angle has a measure of 150 degrees. Since that's one interior angle, I'll use the formula dealing with one interior angle, where one interior angle equals 180 times n minus 2 all over n. Now since there's two n's in this formula, and I'm solving for n, I need to do a little bit of algebra before I actually work this out. I'll get a new formula, and I'll use the new formula to help me solve the rest of these much faster. You may or may not want to write this down, but once we actually substitute in the 150, then definitely write it down. So I need to solve this equation for n. To do that, let's put one interior angle as a fraction over 1, and then we'll cross multiply. 180 times n minus 2 times 1 is just 180 times n minus 2. One interior angle times n is just n times one interior angle. Distribute on the left, 180 times n minus 180 times 2, which is 360. I'm solving for n, so remember I need to get the n's on one side of the equation. So to get the n's to the left side of the equation, I need to subtract it from both sides. And I want the 360 on the right side of the equation, so it needs added to both sides. Now my n's are all on the left. I can factor out an n, leaving 180 minus one interior angle. And then I can divide both sides by 180 minus one interior angle.
that gives me the formula n equals 360 divided by 180 minus one interior angle. Definitely write that formula down. When you're given one interior angle, you can use that formula to solve for n very quickly. So let's use this formula now where one interior angle has a measure of 150 degrees. N equals 360 divided by 180 minus 150. One eighty minus one hundred fifty is thirty, and three hundred sixty divided by thirty is twelve. This is a dodecagon with twelve sides. So when you're given one interior angle and you're looking for the number of sides, use the formula n equals three sixty divided by one eighty minus one interior angle. Number eight, if one interior angle is 160, use the formula n equals 360 divided by 180 minus one interior angle. And substitute 160 for one interior angle. That gives you 360 divided by 20. And 360 divided by 20 is 18. This is an 18-sided polygon. Number 13. Find the value of x. Well, I have a pentagon with expressions for all of the interior angle measures. And since I'm dealing with all of the interior angle measures, if I knew what they added up to, I could make an equation and add those all up to the total. So that means I can use the formula for the sum of the interior angles to find the total. S equals 180 times n minus 2. For a pentagon, n is 5. So these five angles add up to 540. And now let's make an equation. Take all five of those angles, add them up to equal a total of 540. And I can solve this equation for x. When you combine like terms, you get 26x plus 20. equals 540. Solving for x, subtract 20 from both sides. 26x equals 520. And then divide both sides by 26. And x equals 20. So for this pentagon, we did S equals 180 times N minus 2 to find out what all of those interior angles add up to. You get 540, and then do that. Add all of the interior angles up to get 540. That's your equation, and solve. The exterior angles of a polygon occur when you extend a side and then take that side extension and find the angle between that and the next side. That's an exterior angle of a polygon. The sum of the exterior angles is 360. No matter how big the polygon is, no matter how many sides, the sum of the exterior angles is always 360 degrees. If it's a regular polygon, then one exterior angle is 360 divided by n. n is how many sides there are. Notice as well that one exterior angle and one interior angle form a linear pair. 
So you could even make another formula. This says one exterior angle plus one interior angle equals 180. And that's because they make a linear pair. Find the sum of the measures of the exterior angles of each convex polygon. Number one, a decagon. Well, the exterior angles of any convex polygon is 360, so it doesn't matter how many sides it is. This one is just 360. Number two, a 16 gon. Well, the sum of the measures of the exterior angles is 360, so this one is just 360. Number three, a 36 gon. Well, the sum of the measures of the exterior angles of any polygon is 360, so for a 36 gon, it will be 360. Find the measure of each exterior angle for each regular polygon. Number four, a 12 gon. Well, to get one measure of an exterior angle, it's just 360 divided by n. For a 12 gon, n is 12. So one exterior angle measure of a 12 gon is 30. Number five, a hexagon. Well, the measure of one exterior angle of a regular polygon is 360 divided by n. For a hexagon, n is 6. So one exterior angle measure is 60. For a 20 gon, one exterior angle measure is 360 divided by n, and n is 20, which is 18 degrees. All of the exterior angles add up to 360. To get one of them, you do 360 divided by n.